today, we're going to talk about world records. Who can submit a world record? To which organization? And what are the key requirements in order for your next submission for a world record to be validated? And who's well suited to talk to us about this subject other than a world record holder, a member of the IGFA Rules and Regulations Committee, a certified IGFA captain and guide, our buddy Chicho Claire. Hi, my name is Chicho Claire. My good friends call me Chicho. I consider myself an extreme fisherman and a lucky one. I have traveled all over the world and I've seen many things. Hoy en día soy IGFA representante para América Latina y Panamá. También pertenezco al Council de las Reglas y Regulaciones de la IGFA para América Latina. También soy capitán y guía certificado por la IGFA. Y cuento con un honor que es ser presidente y fundador de un club de pesca, el único club de pesca avalado por la IGFA en Panamá. Okay, the most important thing to set an IGFA record, you don't have to be a member. This is something that people say, oh, if I'm not a member, I cannot apply for a world record. It's a lie. Anybody can do it. The only thing you need is preparation. First, get into the IGFA.org and find out which species you want to search for. Once you find the species you want to search for, get the information about it. Wait line class if you go for fly line or line class or tackle once you know all this information you can assemble your rods your reels with the correct line with the correct uh, leader and remember the line cannot surpass the weight limit of the line class and if you go for the old tackle yes it can have almost any weight in your line it's very important to have an IGFA certified scale. There are many, many, many brands of different weights and scales, but they have to be certified. If you cannot do it in your country, you can send it in to the IGFA. You pay a small, a small amount and they certify the weight for you. If it's not certified, your record cannot be, and it will not be um, approved. Um, after that, once you're in the place, you have the weight, you have the, the, the measuring tape, and you are lucky enough to get the fish in your boat. Please handle it with care. First, you have to weight your fish, but not in the boat. You have to go to the sun, to the land, or anywhere that is not moving. Once you weight the fish, and it's considered a, a world record or a line class, First, you have to write it down. Remember to have always a witness, your captain and your mate. Weight the fish, measure the fish from the lower lip to the lower of the tail and from the upper of the peak to the end of the tail. And also the girt is always very important measuring. Get all the information you can. How many minutes, how many seconds, uh, what type of lure, what type of line, what the brand of the line and the weight. The brand of the reel, the brand of the rod, the weight of the rod. All of those are very important to get into into application, but always have the certified weight. Once you have all of those things together, find out who is your IGFA rep in your country or near where you live. Contact this guy or this person. For sure, he will be able to help you. He will help you to fill up the form perfectly. In that way, you will send it in with his signature. And um, make sure you read all the regulations to fill the application correctly. If we talk about how many records do I have, as we speak, I have two old tackle world records. One in, in a species called Sargento, that is the Cicla Pleisona, the family name. It's a Cicla, it's a freshwater fish based in Panama, in Colombia and all South America. It's one of the species of the peacock bass. It's one of the smallest members. The other, record that I hold is an old tackle for a, a fish called Vieja, 
and the scientific name is the Cicla Black Belt. Uh, it weighed one pound, eight ounces, and it also was caught in Lake Gatun in the Panama Canal. Um, I also hold uh, about six, seven club memberships. To apply for a club membership in a specific species, first you have to get into the IGFA.org and find out what species are available for club membership. Each species has a minimum weight. Let's take an example, the mahi-mahi. The mahi-mahi should be not less than 50 pounds. It has to be 50 pounds, one ounce up to, serve, to get into the club. Every pound above is great. Below, you will not get uh, into the club. The snook, the snook is 25 pounds. Peacock grass, 20 pounds. Um, Yellowfin tuna, I think it's 200 pounds, and so on and so forth. I hold the mahi mahi, the black bass, the peacock bass, the uh, snook, the um, yellowfin tuna. I hold all these, I think these five, and I don't remember anymore. I think, I think it's one more. I forgot the name. Definitely, Chicho is an accomplished and meticulous angler. Preparation is key to his success. Chicho seems to know the entire Panama Canal Lake. He shows us many fishing spots on the GPS and finally takes us to a place with plenty of activity that in a few months it's gonna be popping. The only tip that I can give to anyone who's starting in fishing or an expert is preparation. Always prepare before you go out. If you prepare, you will have less things going wrong. And when you're fishing for a record, you don't want any mistakes. So prepare to look for records, so my word would be preparation. For more information, visit the IGFA.org website. I'll see you on the next episode.